Hello guys and welcome to episode 15 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as the Wood Elves on very hard difficulty. This is Mortal Empires and today we're going for world domination starting with Durthu heading towards Ironfrost. So we started our war with Lothurn finally and we've been doing pretty well. We had an epic battle um, with Iskira and he managed to defeat Teclis and one other army and left them in pieces so we're going to use this gutter to go and wipe out Leander here he's going to try and retreat but we're going to just smash him to pieces goodbye we will take the kill captives there probably not good for our relationships with uh, Hexo at all but oh well um, just gives us the extra leadership which is useful and we're going to make sure that uh, his gutter is uh, ready to carry on in the next turn probably towards slavers point actually so we'll head this way and i'm gonna level them up of course so let's uh, go for violent delights now increase his weapon strength as for strathslith in the great arena time to take nagarond we should get like an occupied nagarond from this but it seems as though the Garrison is actually pretty strong, so we're going to have to quick save this and fight it on the battle map. That's a lot of archers with light armor, guys. Fortunately, we have way watchers, which are better. We also have plenty of dryads to climb the walls, so that's perfectly okay. Alright, here we are. So we'll have our tree kins try and knock down the gate, but we'll just attack at the front. Why not? Run through their settlement. Have all the dryads start really nice and close. We can also have our way watchers start in range as well, which is good. Make sure that they are in range. Yeah, they're easily in range. Probably don't want to be in range of their archers if we can help it. Might be, even be worth starting back a bit. As long as we have range onto the walls, that's more than good enough. I might actually even condense them a little bit more so we're only hit by two towers as opposed to four towers. Okay, time for our leader to join up with the Treekin. We'll also have our Branch Wraith with those. So let's make that group one. Our Waystalker can stand with my Way Watchers. And we need to have our horsemen on the flank somewhere I don't know if there's a place where I can put them maybe here I don't know if they're gonna put anyone on these gates though if they do I'm gonna to have to move them let's uh, gamble for more wins and we will start the deployment let's go start the battle as well so we'll just go smash those gates uh, yep there's nobody on this side so these should be okay I don't think this tower can attack and make sure that my Dryads are actually running towards the walls. Let's go. Oh, well, look how much damage they take. Whenever a Waywatch actually hits one of his arrows, they die. Look at that. Enemy missile fire! Hope is fading. Shield yourself. They are getting decimated on the walls. I feel like the auto resolve may have underestimated my forces a little bit. I'm gonna have these wild riders try and take down that gatehouse on the right there. I mean the towers aren't even doing that much damage because we made all of the archers rout so they're not even capturing them anymore. And these guys need to be climbing. That's fine. There we go, we have our dryads engaging their archers. I'll probably bring some spearmen up onto the walls soon. But when they do, that's just another target for my way watchers. 
One thing that might be worth doing is just moving them all to the right side, but actually they captured that tower now, so never mind. Right, time to break through. These spearmen. Not gonna know what hit him. Okay, I think it's maybe time to yeah, move up a little bit more. That might give our units a bit of a better shot on some of these units. So far so good though. If we're going to raise this and recolonize, it doesn't really matter how many losses we take. I love the screams of these dryads, it sounds so awesome. It's like echoing through the settlement. High elves just don't know what to do with themselves. Oh, look at that damage there. That was insane. Like, all of my treekin just attacked in unison. the push going. Keep running them down with the dryads where we can. I love that we have these like little dryads everywhere and then the main clump of tree men and tree kin are just charging forwards. It's just fantastic. That is GG. Look at him run. Nagarond is ours. So only 109 losses after all that. I'm pretty sure I expected those archers with light armor to do more damage. But they don't have armor piercing, so they're not actually that strong. And my Waywatchers just cut them down so quickly. This is why you replace Glade Guard with Waywatchers, guys. Right. Oh, well, it's only worth 7,000. I suppose the garrison was so large if there wasn't much there. But that's going to give us an occupied Nagarond, which reduces our deficit a little bit more. Uh, we can also go for a stone cutter, but I think we'll just go for a foraging grove at Nagarond and carry on with Strasley. Nice. Okay, um, as for Serco, he is heading back across the desert. And it's time to hit Serpent Coast. It's just going to be an auto resolve. Oh, we lost one of our um, Wildwood Rangers. It's a shame. Oh well, we'll just seed that. And that's job done. Nice. This turn we can also recruit. Actually, I don't think we can recruit this turn. Two turns that's going to take, but I guess that's fine. We'll just get another Wildwood Ranger in his army. But what do we want to head towards next? I guess we should get uh, Foe Seeker right and then just start building up his own damage and armor and so on. Because he's maxed out Shield of the Forest, the Forest Roar, and Swinging Bowels. We don't really use Striking Branches too much because the charge bonus isn't particularly useful. 
This cattle pastures might be quite nice for the extra unit experience for cavalry recruits, so I'm going to get that. The other one can just be a foraging grove. And what we're going to do with Treebeard is just head up to the Cursed Jungle and uh, take that over. If that's still owned by Skaven, which I'm not sure it even is. I'm pretty sure Queek's like their last remaining guy. Otherwise they don't own a settlement. So that's really cool that he's just like standing over here. He can't get past Serpent Coast without suiciding into it. So <laughs> nice to see him there. Either way, um, Mr. Tot here is at the Altar of Ultimate Darkness. So let's go ahead and take that. It's just a quick Altar Resolve. And I am tempted to raise it, but we're on 1 million cash, so let's not waste waste the time. I think we're going to be in range to attack Rakto Gorge straight after, so we may as well do that. Alright, get Specialist. And if we've occupied it, we can build a Foraging Grove, so let's do that. Okay, Orion down south. He can take out this army. That's going to be a quick water resolve, I believe. Yep, he's dead. Alright, and Siddhashal can start sailing across. So we have to head up in order to do that, which is rather odd. Anyway, our army in Kofa, the Tayan, is going to zoom up towards Phyrus because that's where we want to take out Mogan, the savior. Uh, we're going to have Orion head back through the Hexawattle lands as well. Uh, he's maxed out. I guess we put the last point into Tempered Rigor or Bolts of the Forest. That's an extra 6% weapon da damage or missile damage. His Way Watchers will be really OP. So we'll max out Bolts of the Forest. It's going to be 61 missile damage on those Way Watchers. That's pretty damn nice. With our Branch Wraith. I guess we may as well get like Awakening of the Wood, the Withering, and Shield of the Thorns and stuff. Just so that we have those available if we ever need them. Right, as for Findol, no. I'm tempted to attack Tor Aka here. At your service. Because we do have these Way Watchers, and our units Never. are actually pretty damn strong. Lord of Athel Let's go for it. My this should be an interesting battle, to say the least. It'll be the first time that we've played a battle in the flesh with our elven unit. So let's quick save and fight it on the battle map. So this is quite different to normal because a lot of my melee units aren't as tanky as I'm used to. Used to sorry for the voice crack. Um, yeah, not as tanky as I'm used to. So like we don't have tree kin, we don't have tree men. We're just going to have to rely on standard infantry. Fortunately, the war dancers are very strong against the sword masters of Hoeth. So are the wandered rangers. The war dancers with Asari spears are good against their cavalry. So yeah, we'll see how we do. We will probably just go over the main gate here as usual. Uh, basically the same as we did before. And then I'll have all of my infantry just line up and climb up the walls. We'll keep our spell singer uh, back for now. I'm gonna keep maybe my no actually we'll move my glade guard onto the walls with my infantry. Uh, we're gonna have to probably hide our cavalry if we can, or I could just have them off to one side like I did before, and then maybe move them towards this gate if they don't put anything there. Um, let's start the deployment, start the battle. I'll move the way watchers forwards into range. I probably should have done that straight away. Um, and then we'll make sure to have all of the infantry just climb. If I go left side of the gate, I'll put one on that side, won't it? So we'll go four like so, and then four like so. 
Okay, that works. Our dragon can just fly over and she'll have him fly to one side. And he can do a breath attack across. Then he can land and do the uh, Helm of Discord. Deep wood mage. And I guess we'll just have our mage run up as well. Okay, they didn't put anything on the right gate. Well, they are going to now, but just some sort of Masters of Hoeth over there. So we can actually start hitting the gate. That should be fine. The forest speaks. Maybe we can have... The spell singer on a unicorn attack the gate. That'd be quite funny. Alright, let's go for the attack onto the Lothan Sea Guard. Um, it seems as though my Waywatchers aren't actually in range, so I we'll have to move them forwards a little bit. Alright, let's see how this breath attack does. Oh well. Goodbye, Lothan Sea Guard. That works. And right, now we've actually got the missile fire coming in as well. Which is nice, so we'll actually start doing some damage. Um, let's assist against these Loth and Sea Guard. Or maybe even the White Lions of Trace. Maybe as well just sort of dive into them. Oh, look at the damage there. We have a Potion of Toughness on him as well, so that's really good. Oh, we're not doing too bad. I might even have one of my Sisters of the Thorn come over here. She may as well have both of them over, because they have the Curse of Andra here, which would really help out in weakening the High Elf units. Meanwhile, the Wild Riders can continue to try and smash through that gate. But yeah, I really want to get these spells down where I can, because they will definitely help our infantry break across break over. Uh, I might have to have my leader take out their artillery. Uh, actually they do have their own dragon so let's go and destroy that. Uh, meanwhile I am going to have maybe a couple units come off the walls. Get some war dancers off there. The rest of them are going to have to engage on the walls themselves. Because I'm pretty sure they're going to bring their Swordmasters of Hoeth up onto the walls. If they do, that makes them a good target for my Waywatchers. Let's just kill the Phoenix if that's going to attack me. Get the Potion of Toughness going while we're engaging this. Okay, maybe we'll attack the dragon since it's bigger. Get more damage down. Charge into the Lodden Sea Guard with shields here. Yes! Way oh. <laughs> I was going to call them Way Watchers, but they're War Dancers. War Dancers getting involved in a lot of damage. I like it. How are we doing here? That gate's nearly gone. What about the unicorn? The unicorn's doing okay. Oh yes, Findol. Take him out. Alright, if he's running away, that doesn't matter. We'll just focus on the Phoenix instead. Alright, and if they've all ran away, then it's time to get the Waywatch on the wall. Put the uh, Curse of Anna here on. I'll also put the Shield of the Thorns down because we're being attacked by missile forces. May as well. Run down onto these northern sea guard with shields. Right over here, we demolish those northern sea guard. I'll come towards the center. I want my war dancer with the last raised spears to get over here. 
what I can do while I'm waiting is get a really good breath attack on some of these silver helms. If they will let me. Dauntless Azray! At speed! The forest calls! Oh wow. With pace! So well, hopefully this doesn't respawn. We've destroyed the gates. Let's get a decent life flood down. Looks like the way watchers are getting into position, which is good. Right, we broke through that gate, but they're on the walls. So Your orders? No. There we go. Right, anyway. Uh, may as well have my general come down into these cavalry. I think we should be okay if we do that. I'd say one bad thing about this is the Silverhelms counter my infantry pretty hard. Maybe not the Eternal Guard with shields so much, but... Oh, look at the damage we're doing over here. Get my lady forwards. Get our Sisters of the Thorn in here. Get that Helm of Discord down. Good. Right, what we can do is get a Dwellers Below on top of these. That would be really, really good. Just got to get this Unicorn into position. Currently she's marching forwards with the Wild Rangers, which isn't really helping her out very much. But there we go. Finally getting close enough. Let's go for the Dwellers Below. Then what we can do is uh, give a regrowth to Findol to help him survive that. Crushed them. Oh, that was beautiful. Victory. Very successful battle. Close victory, it says, but I don't think that was particularly close, especially considering the quality of their army. Eight units of Swordmasters of Hoeth completely destroyed. What I am scared of is when I start destroying armies and then they start rebuilding them. That will be the scariest part because they will re recruit super elite armies that will be really, really hard for me to deal with. But loving that, I mean, taking the settlement, Tor Acher, definitely going to be a good start for our Can I offer Wood Elf brethren. For the Kadai. Go ahead and colonise that afterwards. I don't think there's any armies around, so we should be fine. Right, let's uh, get the Astray Lookout oh. there. And we will go towards Deadly Onslaught. Actually, I probably should be maxing out Forest Raw first, but oh well. Never mind. Right, now we just have to move Dalsith, who's all the way down here. And he is uh, now sailing across to the Western Continents. Right, Quick Beam's recruiting. Deatok will be ready to go in the next turn. And I've got to remember to raid Castle Baston, just so that we can have. Orion do his quest at some point. So let's see what Lothan do. They've lost three armies in the last turn. Three full armies. That's a pretty damaging turn against them. But they didn't even move any armies. <laughs> and they have armies somewhere, but we just can't see them. Nagaron's still alive, but it looks like their last settlement was taken by Hexawattle. So they must be on their last army now or something. 
Hopefully their agents will disappear shortly, because they're just being annoying, wasting my time in the end turn. I think uh, Queek is actually going to end up attacking us in this end turn. Because he's lost all of his settlements. Yeah, he started the siege. That's fine. Oh, and even attacked. So that's now Clan Moors destroyed. And that's one way to get rid of their agents. Goodbye, Skaven. Although Skaven are never truly gone. They're always there. Always in the caverns below, waiting for their next chance. We're just going to colonize that. And we shall continue. Awesome. The Clan Moors defeated. We now control the entirety of the Eastern Continent from north to south, all the way from the Nagalfari Plains, all the way down to the Shifting Sands. Look at that. Beautiful. Let's go ownership, shall we? We're getting in there. Now we just got this little slice of land to take. And we're good. And we're coming in from all directions. So we've got armies in the south. We've got armies up north. And we've got armies attacking Lothern itself. Really, really good. Right. Zoom back in. The unassigned skill point on quick beam. Time for him to continue with the violent delights. Dirthu can attack Iron Frost. And that was quite simple, wasn't it? We'll raise that and take it over. Dirthu's going to have a couple of turns to get further south, so it's fine. He should be replenished in time. Right, as for Strasleith, we're in range of the Temple of Cain. So that would be my next target. The gods are we'll just seed that one. Take the foraging groves there. Alright, Circo. Still moving over here. Let's just start. It's coming down to Rakdo Gorge. Unfortunately not in range to take it this turn, but will be next turn. Orion finally jumping onto the water. Should be okay. Although I might want to keep him on land so that I could do my quest battle. Like if I have Deer Talk march towards Castle Baston. We might be able to get him to raid it next turn, although I think we won't have enough range to do that. Yeah, it doesn't matter. We'll just have Orion start his merry way over to Mangrove Coast. And we'll get Sedashal to do the same. Wait. What did I just do? Oh, I moved Tala out of the army by accident. It's awkward. Never mind. I think I just blocked the path as well. Well, that's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Silly Tala. <laughs> Can't believe my branch rate that blocked both my armies from actually getting onto the water there. How stupid is that? Alright, whatever. Iskara is ready to attack Slaver's point, so we're gonna go ahead and take that. I'm just gonna seed that. And then we'll move on to 
cannoned car. Right, as for the Tain, is in range to attack virus. So this will be an auto resolve. And that's the destruction of the Knights of the Flame. So two more factions completely destroyed in this episode. That's pretty good. Unfortunately, it has been my time. Just going to upgrade these two guys. But yeah, otherwise, I'm done for now. In the next episode, we'll look at completing Orion's quest. I'll continue the destruction of the High Elves. Fantastic stuff today for sure. But that's all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.